GuitarLessons.com, the number one name in guitar lessons online. Welcome to the gear review section again, guys. Today we're going to take a look at the Taylor 110 acoustic guitar. No electronics, no cutaway, just straight up acoustic guitar. So I'll give you the features, some benefits, some pros and cons, let you know how much it costs and everything. Uh, it's $5.99, that's regular street price. I believe it comes with a gig bag too, so that's kind of cool, it's pretty cool, but it's a really good quality gig bag too, it's not going to fall apart on you after a year or whatever. As far as the wood goes on this guitar, it's a solid Sitka spruce top. Really nice, that's part of what gives it its nice full sound is the solid top. And I did some research for you guys and actually found out how to say it. Sapelli. I was calling it Sapel for, for years. It's the kind of wood that the back and the sides are made of. It's laminated, but it's Sapelli like belly. And basically, it's kind of taken over the, the place of mahogany, not really taking it over, but it's a cheaper kind of an eastern mahogany. That's what they're calling it, eastern mahogany. And it's similar to it in look and sound. Uh, the lows are supposed to be a bit different, have some different characteristics than mahogany, but it's similar. And it's really cool because they're using this now instead of just chopping the mahogany until it's all used up. So hopefully the mahogany supply will get back up. And the sapelli is a really cool Tonewood, you should go check it out if you've never played it before. Same thing, the, the neck's made of the same thing, Sapelli. And believe it or not, the fretboard and the bridge are both ebony. And I was kind of surprised to find that because I thought that would add a pretty good chunk of change to the price, but apparently not. Taylor, I guess they can crank it out and their automation is high enough to where that doesn't really affect the price too much. But this guitar, I really like it. I like a brighter sounding acoustic, but I don't like it to be tinny. Like some guitars out there are bright, but they have no bottom end. This is kind of a happy medium between the thinner, janglier guitars that you hear that are just all high end, and then like a Martin who has just a ton of low end. This is like a nice in between, like right in the middle. And it's pretty dynamic too. It gets really good slap harmonic and stuff without having to try too hard to do it. So if you're looking for a guitar with a solid top and that's really responsive and generally come set up well right out of the box. Go take a look at the Taylor 110 and see if it kind of suits your needs and it suits your taste. If you like something a little bit darker like a Gibson or Martin, you might not like it, but if you like something a little bit bright with still has some low end in it, you'll probably like this guitar.